2016 has been a big year for me. So far, I started going to therapy. It was a big deal for me. Oh, thank you. Very supportive. <laughs> uh, I started going to therapy. I get depressed. I get depressed about my weight. It's not a big deal. You know, I'm like a work in progress, like it says on my Kathy mug. But, <laughs> when I get down about it, so I decided to go see a therapist. And I went there, and the first thing he did was weigh me, which I found very surprising because I had not told him why I was there yet. <laughs> He just knew somehow. Uh, and I found out something very surprising, you guys. I found out uh, right now I am the heaviest I have ever been. I have to pause there because sometimes it gets a round of applause and it's super weird. Uh, but it's true, it's true. I'm 320 pounds. I'm the heaviest I've ever been. The problem with that sentence is that there's an implied so far at the end of it. <laughs> Like, I don't have a lot of options at 320 pounds. Like, I'm not going to lose a lot of weight and get super ripped. Like, we already have one Chris Pratt. He's in everything. We don't need another. Like, what are my options if I want to lose a lot of weight, right? Like, uh, I hear Subway Sandwich needs a new spokesperson. I could do that. Or uh, I could be the ghost of Drew Carey after he dies and host The Price is Right. Those are my two, Those are my two options. Uh, I was talking to my doctor, he was asking me all these like standard uh, questions, he was like, well oh, Casey, if I told you to stop drinking or doing drugs for medical reasons, would that be a problem? I said, absolutely no problem. He said, okay, well looking at your medical history and what you'd like to accomplish, I think you should stop drinking and doing drugs for medical reasons. And I said, well that's going to be a big problem. <laughs> I explained to him, like, I'm not an alcoholic, I, I'm a comedian, I go out uh, to bars after shows, I like to have a drink with the other comics and unwind, it's not a big deal, it doesn't interfere with my life. He said, oh, okay, I think I understand what you're saying to me. You're saying, you're, you're like a little kid at a birthday party who wants cake, but can't have it because he has diabetes. <laughs> He's like, why would you say diabetes to me <laughs> after all we've been through? I said, well, Doc, what if I still want to uh, keep coming to therapy and I still want to drink? Is that okay? And he said, well, Casey, this is a guilt-free practice. And what that means is I'll give you a treatment, and you can take it or don't take it. But if you don't take it, we're just going to limit our expectations for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he knows what guilt is. <laughs> That's it. Got it in one. Does he know that when I said I was there for depression, I didn't mean for some more depression? <laughs> SeaWorld's getting desperate. Oh. Have you guys noticed this? Come with me on this journey, you guys. <laughs> it's true, SeaWorld's getting really desperate because there was a, a movie that came out a couple years ago called Blackfish that said that SeaWorld was killing all their whales. And now I guess attendance has dropped at SeaWorld, uh, and they've started showing these ads on TV where there's like an old man in a pool. He's not that old, he's got like a salt and pepper goatee. He's, uh, he's like a hot dad, there's like a hot dad in the pool. <laughs> and he's got his back turned to the camera, and he turns to him and he goes, hey, here at SeaWorld, <laughs> we didn't kill any whales, SeaWorld, and that's the whole ad. <laughs> That is the least convincing denial of whale murder I have ever heard. You can't be super casual when someone accuses you of whale murder. You can't be like, oh, what's that? Oh, a crime against nature. No, no, you're thinking of someone else. Because it is, right? It is, like, truly horrible to kill a whale. We can all agree. They're endangered. They're majestic. They communicate through song. Did you guys know that? Whale songs. And each whale song is unique and beautiful. Have you guys heard most songs by people? <laughs> There's not a single kid rock record that would not be improved by putting him 20,000 leagues under the sea. <laughs> he could rebrand his squid rock. That is the thing I thought of once and I've never been able to not say it. <laughs> I told that joke at a show recently and a guy came up to me afterwards and he goes, oh, you know Casey, I saw that movie, and they weren't killing their whales. Uh, the trainers were driving the whales crazy so that they would kill people. Uh -huh. well, first of all, it was both. <laughs> and second of all, that's not any better. <laughs> There's no good reason to train whales to kill, right? You can't be like, oh, the SeaWorld's in a pretty rough neighborhood. <laughs> 
Maybe we should beef up security, get a few attack whales. Get sucked into the whale control debate by your smug friends. You know that whale is twice as likely to eat you as it is an intruder. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a whale is a good guy with a whale. That's right, I'm talking about Aquaman. I think we do need to start going to SeaWorld though, right? Because if they're gonna just get more desperate, I know what the next ad is. The next ad is that same hot dad in the pool. And he turns to the camera and goes, Hey, if you guys don't come to SeaWorld, we're gonna kill every one of these women. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you this, I'll get out of here. I was at work recently and a dog saw me poop. I have to live with that now. I should let you guys know I don't work in a place where there should have been a dog. <laughs> like, I work in an office, not like a, a pet co or like a hotel for dogs. This was a loose dog. And I was sitting in the stall, minding my own business, when up from under the wall comes this furry red snout, like this dog is there cruising for casual sex with other dogs. <laughs> and I don't know what to do in this situation, because I'm embarrassed, and that's not right. Like, I don't know what you say to a dog that walks into you in the bathroom, but I don't think, Oh, I'm so sorry, is it? <laughs> Besides, he walked in on me. If one of us is going to be embarrassed, it should probably be him. He came in here on all fours, wearing nothing but a collar. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what this dog was doing in my office bathroom, and I think I figured it out, you guys. He was just doing the same thing I was doing, which was watching Netflix on my phone and hiding from my boss. <laughs> hey, you guys, thank you very much.